Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Welcome to Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang, bringing you coverage of the 2010 New York Auto Show, where Mini is introducing its 2011 Mini Countryman. As a one-of-a-kind, fun-to-drive crossover that offers great fuel efficiency and free scheduled maintenance, it promises to be a phenomenal value for the money. absolutely a mini face, but it's like no mini that you have ever seen before. This looks a little more like a mini that's been weightlifting. And when you look at those shoulders, you know that it really is poised over those wheels. Now let's look a little more at the side of the car. I think one of the most important things is even with the Countryman, Mini still has our wheels at the corner of the car. That's what gives us the bulldog stance and the go-kart kind of handling. You'll see that it borrows design cues like the scuttle that Mini's had on all of our cars. It has a relatively high belt line that rises as you go to the back of the car. It has a really distinctive helmet roof, which is distinctive to the Countryman, but it's a contrast roof, like other Mini roofs. And then one of the great things, from my perspective, is how easy it is to get to the space inside. And from that perspective, it's great for families, and this car has more than 500 combinations of interiors, exteriors, and trim, so that your Mini is really a work that you create. And when then you think about, about all the options and accessories, your Mini could be one of a kind. We offer a choice that almost no crossover does. You can have a six-speed manual transmission or a six-speed automatic transmission. It's your choice, whatever fits with your motoring fun. But the real joy of the car is the center rail that we have inside. Now these two cars have two-piece center rails, but we also have a one-piece center rail. And this rail is between the two seats, has an electrical connection and a USB connection. It has ambient lighting, so you can see what's on the rail even during the nighttime. And you can attach your iPhone, your uh, portable navigation system, charge your computer, have a DVD system in the back seat. Now you might think this is just a gas cap, but it's a very special gas cap. We think when we get the final figures that we will have the highest fuel economy of any crossover available in the United States. Now coming to the front of the car, this is the heart of a Mini, it's the motor. And a Cooper S has a direct injected turbocharged motor with Valtronic, and it's really what powers a Mini and gives it that tremendous go-kart feel. And an option that Mini hasn't had before, we have adaptive Xenon headlamps, so you'll be able to see exactly where you're headed into that curve for the most motoring joy. We haven't announced the final pricing yet, that will come in the fall, but it will be our traditional low Mini pricing, Keep in mind that the fuel economy is so great that you won't be spending much for gas. Maintenance is covered for the first three years. And minis traditionally have the highest resale value in their class. With such an incredibly unique aesthetic, I'm really interested to see how American consumers respond to the Mini Countryman. Thanks for joining us with our coverage of the 2010 New York Auto Show. I'm Jesse Lang with Roadfly TV, and I want to know what you think. Give us some ratings on our videos, send us your comments, and join our family by subscribing to our channel. Roadfly.com, the Internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.